Hi guys, I'm Duchess and I'm back again with another movie review. And I know anyone that's seen this title is going to be going, what are you doing? This is not a horror movie. This is not a thriller. And you know what, you're right. Um, it's none of those things. But it is a movie that I think very much deserves a, a, a review. Um, I had a really bad migraine yesterday. So of course, you know, horror, gore, all of that. Not necessarily the best thing to go with a splitting migraine when you already feel nauseous. So, on with the show. Today's movie review is the movie Hick. Now, the cast for this is absolutely phenomenal. You've got Chloe Grace Moretz, who has been in basically everything, which is amazing for as young as she is, and everything she does is positively phenomenal. Um, you've got Blake Lively, who I know predominantly from Gossip Girl and her new movie, The Shallows. Um, you've got Ray McKinnon, who I know from Sons of Anarchy, and he is also Coach Cotton in The Blind Side. You've got Eddie Redmayne, who I know predominantly from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them as Newt Scarmander. Scamander? Not sure. And then you've got... Dave Vessio, who this is the first movie that I've seen him in, but the reason that I plucked him out from all of the other characters, you know, and there are tons in this, is because there is a very, very strong scene between him and Red Eddie Redmayne that just hits you to the absolute core. It absolutely does. And there's a lot of that in this movie, don't get me wrong. It's one of those movies that's constantly tugging at your emotions. And I'm not talking, you know, ball your eyes out, tug at your emotions. I'm talking about all those other emotions, you know, the, the anger, the shock, the just, you know, feeling slightly off. And there's not enough movies that really can hit those finer points. And I really like that. That's one of the things that I enjoy most in a movie is when it just leaves me feeling kind of uncomfortable. I'm not scared. I'm not, you know, I don't want to stab somebody or anything like that. I'm just distressed almost. And that, that's, that's probably one of the best things that I can say about this movie is the fact that it does play very much on those emotions and those feelings that most movies kind of just gloss over or skip entirely. And, you know, you couple that with a cast as strong as this one has. And it's, it's honestly a work of art. And I know you guys have had a lot of reviews lately from me going, oh my God, it's terrible. You know, the acting is the worst I've ever seen. So, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of you are a bit in shock here. Oh my God, that just liked a movie. Um, but I do. I really like it. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I've seen it before. But I don't know if I was distracted the last time I watched it or if it's just been too long since I've seen it or what was going on exactly at the time. But it didn't affect me the way that it affected me this time. And it was very much like I was seeing it for the very first time when I watched it yesterday. And that's why I sat down and said, you know what, I'm going to do this review. And I didn't do it last night because with my migraines, my vision goes funny. For all I know, the camera would have been pointed at the damn ceiling. Who knows? And I thought that it deserved better than that. I thought that it deserved a proper review. You know, I actually did my makeup, made an attempt at fixing my hair, waited till the dogs were quiet, you know, because... This movie really does deserve that. It deserves for someone to put the time in to making a review that reflects the time that they put in to make the film. And you can tell that they put in serious time with this film. I cannot single out a single solitary thing about this film that I am not in awe of. From Chloe Moretz's little sketchbook that carries you through the whole film to Juliette Lewis in a role that, while still kind of flighty, is also very serious and, you know, 
that was that was new for me because I I always think of her in the really flighty type roles. Blake Lively was unlike I have seen her before, and it was phenomenal. I'll be honest, Ray McKinnon's character reminded me a lot of his character in Sons of Anarchy, but that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing at all. I'm in no way saying, oh my gosh, he's been typecast. He, he's like Nicolas Cage. He's a, he's a one-role wonder. It's not that at all. He's very good at that, and it's very convincing. Um, Eddie Redmayne floored me. I had... I've been fooled before by English people that sound American. Don't get me wrong. But his was extremely good. And then Dave Vessio just brought out emotions in such a convincing way. I mean, I don't, I don't do spoilers. You guys know I don't do spoilers. But there is a scene between Dave Vessio, Chloe Moretz, and... Um, Eddie Redmayne, that you just really kind of want to choke him. Um, and it's very difficult for an actor to really bring out that sort of feeling, in me at least. I, I have a hard time with bad guys feeling like bad guys. I have, you know, that sort of thing doesn't happen to me very often. More times than not, I find myself cheering for the bad guy. So to actually feel that was just, it was new and it was surprising. And while I enjoyed that aspect of it, you know, obviously that, those negative feelings were still there towards the character. And at least in my eyes, it takes a very gifted actor to be able to do that. And so, you know, my, my hat's off to him. So if you've not seen Hick yet, I don't care if you are a horror fan and that's all you watch. Most of you know that's pretty much all I want, watch. You know, the horror movies and the psychological thrillers and things like that. Let me tell you, it is worth taking a break from that. It is worth setting aside the time to watch this movie. And I truly believe you will not regret it. Um, it is one of those movies that I think everyone will love. I've got, <clears throat> I've got some favorite movies that are as far from the horror, horror category as you can get. I mean, most people that know me know Labyrinth is an all-time favorite. Not a horror movie. I've got to say, this one's going to be right up there. It really is. It's going to be one of those movies that I watch time and time again. And that is rare for me. I'm usually one of those people that when I'm filing through my list of movies, I go, huh, I'm not, I'm not sure I remember what this one is. You know, get it started up and I'm going to, you know, 30 seconds in, I'm like, oh, it's this one. I want to watch something different and I change it. This is not one of those movies I'm going to do that with. This is one of those where I'm going to go, oh, this one. If I don't already remember, which I, I honestly don't believe it's going to be one of those where I'm going to forget what it is. I really believe it's one of those that I'm going to remember. And it's going to be one of those where I'm going to have the popcorn ready. I'm going to have, you know, the soda. I'm going to make sure the dogs have been fed so they go to sleep. And I'm going to sit down and I'm not going to take my eyes off that screen. And I'm going to watch it over and over and over. And I don't do that with a lot of movies. I mean, even horror movies, which I dearly love. I do not do that with a lot of movies. It's generally a case of, oh, it's this one again. Let me find something new. Or here, I've, I've got all these horror movies I've never seen. Yeah, that one doesn't sound quite right. That's never going to be the case with this movie. I'm going to go, oh, yeah, Hick, yes, let's go. So, yes, by all means, if you have not seen Hick, do it. Do it now. And I am personally going to go and I'm going to hunt down more movies by everyone in this movie because every single one of them deserves it. Every single one of them deserves the time to sit down and watch more of their work. So, again, if you've not seen Hick, watch it now. If there's anything you want me to see, let me know. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share the, movie, share the videos with your friends. Anything you want me to see, drop me in line, either on Twitter, Facebook, 
in the comments down below and I'm happy to watch these things. My job is to make the videos that you want to see and I can't do that. If you don't tell me what it is, I'll just keep flying by the seat of my pants. That said, have a great day. Bye-bye.